Hello and welcome to battle uh, on the outskirts of the Galbadian Garden. Uh, what am I... hmm. I have no idea if that has something I... Eh, not really. You, you're all darkified though. Hmm. Right, well, I only have like a 50-50 chance of... No, how do I want to say this? I was probably going to one-shot that, is what I was trying to say. Wake up, Renola, please. Okay, um, there was one item of interest that I picked up during my short little grinding spree, um, which I'll show you my progress on that in a moment as well, actually. Uh, but, yeah, I just want to show that one item I got. Well, actually, no. There's two Im items of interest that I picked up. For They're of interest for different reasons. Uh, I picked up... Where the... This thing, which teaches blue magic. This is dropped by a cockatrice enemy that you can find in that forest. And I picked up a couple of these things, which are dropped by, like, this... I don't know how to really describe it. It's like a sort of gorilla-y thing. It's also in the forest, in any case. This, these things are not really important, but they're use it's useful to have a couple because we can use it for, uh, I know for a fact it is an ingredient for some of the weaponry models. Uh, although, truth be told, I don't remember specifically which ones. Anyway, to the garden! Cool. I mean, different, but also quite similar. <laughs> you would. Could you leave this one up to me? I've been here several times and I know the headmaster pretty well. I'll go and explain our situation. Uh... I guess we're getting Zell back. Uh, but first... It is a little bit different, yeah. Okay, let's see. Attention Seed, party from Balam Garden. Please wait in the... Okay, I might actually get a level down for dilly-dallying in this area, but there's a couple things around the garden that I want to track down. <laughs> if I can find them. Like, um... There is a draw point in this room, but I can never find the damn thing. Is it just... Aha! Haste! Is really worthwhile to grab. Um... There's also a life draw point that I want, but man... Like, I know what room it is in, but I don't remember where that room is. Ah, I can't reach that. Ah, and here's the other thing I wanted to do. This lady here, uh, well, I'll show you. If I go over to... 
I believe this level, this lady has every card on this page. Looks good to me. Uh, gonna need to watch out for the same, though. But yeah, so I'm I'm gonna play cards against her a few times because a lot of those cards are like really good. Uh, okay. Okay. We'll just go with that. Don't have that. Don't have that. Uh, I don't actually know what these turn into, but I'm pretty sure Grendel turns into something worthwhile. I think these are both pretty useless. And I'm not gonna sit here grinding at all of the cards I want, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play a couple rounds. Um, so I think I can probably just like leave off here. Like, well, I say that more or like. Mm. Yeah, I probably can. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, something to mention here, uh, for reasons that will become clear only much later in the game, snap up a Mesmer card or a Malibu card, both of those, every time you get the chance to win one of those in a game, always take it. At least, well, hmm, I would still take new cards first actually, but if you're choosing between old cards, always choose Mesmer prize and Malibu over pretty much everything else. That's gonna be important, like, way later on, like on disc 3. <laughs> okay, I think I'm about done. Uh, as you can see, I got, well, most of them. I'm missing... There's four more I could grind here for if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm happy with, with these ones that I've picked up. Okay, cannot go that way. Um, the thing that I want must be on the left side then. Because there is still one more drop when I want. And I'm probably going to get a level down on my next paycheck for wasting so much time here. I, I, I feel fairly confident in... What, isn't it? Yeah, whatever. You know, it's not that important. It's a life drop point. It's around here somewhere. It would have been nice to have, but it's not critically important. The place where we are wanted is right here. Did she? I I didn't really get that impressive. I mean, oh, I actually got a level up. What? Whatever, I'll take it. How'd it go? They understand our situation. That's good. The attack on the President Timber was classified as an independent action. There was an official notice from the Galbadian government saying that ba Lamb Garden is not being held responsible. Well, that's good. Dodged a bullet there. Quite possibly literally. The trial is over and the sentence has been carried out. 
You know... She didn't actually... She did not actually say he was executed. Just that he, his sentence has already been carried out. Hmm. It was your group that got Cypher involved in all this. You're a resistance faction, right? You must have been prepared for the worst. I'm sure Cypher was prepared too. So don't think of it as Cypher sacrificing himself for you. I'm sorry, I guess that wasn't a, much of a constellation. I mean, this is Cypher we're talking about. Hmm. Renoa, also 17. Incidentally. In fact, I'm pretty sure everyone in this room, except for Quistus, is 17. Quistus is 18. Uh... Hmm. Ha. Huh. I've seen some troubled children, but he was beyond troubled. Again, you're like literally one year older than him. I mean, he was a huge asshole. Uh, <laughs> I mean... I don't... well, I liked him. Wasn't really a bad guy. He was one of us. Cypher, you've become just a memory. Will they... will they talk about me this way if I die too? School was this and that, using past tense, saying whatever they want. So this is what death is all about. Not for me. I won't have it! Yeah, so Squall is like really bummed out about this whole thing. You know, in his, in his own unique repressed sort of way. Yeah, I would say he is quite mad. In the angry sense. I'm having- I'm not having anyone talk about me in the past tense. Hmm, where to now? Ah, there's nothing up here. I know for a fact that there's nothing up here. <laughs> Let's not waste our time running around it. Might be something there, but I, I don't really remember. Not right now, in any case. Raijin? What the hell is he doing here? And Fujin too. I mean, if one is here, of course the other as well. What am I doing? I'm a messenger, you know? Brought you new orders from Headmaster Sid, you know? Good question. Don't know. Gave it to the head honcho here. Just did what Master Sid wanted, you know? Explain! We were supposed to go to Timba, but the trains have stopped, so we had no other choice but to come here. Kind of relieved to see you guys here. Uh... 
Uh, Cypher might be dead. I heard he was tried in Galbadia and then executed. Well, you heard his sentence was carried out. Uh, admittedly, like, execution is probably a safe bet, but like, like I said before, like I said before, it doesn't seem unreasonable to think that he might have been imprisoned in probably terrible conditions so that they could extract information from him. I mean, I realize that's not much better, but, like, at least he's alive that way. Just, just, just saying, you know. <laughs> I really do like Reg and Fujin. They are pretty great. Like, it's almost fair to say, like, they, these two represent the best aspects of the Cypher. <laughs> well, okay then. I guess, I guess, yep. Uh, in the front gate? Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, wait. Yep, let's go, go, go. I guess, guess, guess. Oh! Wow. He's just... is driving. Wow. What an asshole. Megas walk all the way out here, then he drives. Notably, no robot people. Which, look, I know, I realize that they aren't actually robots, but they will always be robots to me. I really like watching Renault in this scene. Martine, good day. I have official orders from Headmaster Sid addressed to you. Following regulations, I have gone over these orders. After a careful consideration of our options, we have decided to fully assist and cooperate with Headmaster Sid. Actually, we too have been planning for this for quite some time now. In order to stress the importance of this mission, I must first brief you on the current situation. At ease. You all know about the sorceress being appointed as the peace ambassador for the Galbadian government. However, this ambassador thing is just a cover up. There will be no peace talks, only threats. The sorceress creates fear among people. Therefore, peace talks are impossible. Galbadia is planning to use this fear to negotiate favorable conditions for itself. It is clear that Galbadia's ultimate goal is WORLD DOMINATION! Which is bad. Garden is no exception either. It is a fact that the sorceress is planning to use this garden as her base. We have very few options available to us. We entrust world peace and the future to you. <laughs> Details of the mission are enclosed in these official orders. Any questions? The orders say by means of a sniper. We have no one with that skill. Don't worry about it. Let me introduce you to an Ellie sharpshooter from Galbadia Garden. Kinnies! Irvine Kinnies! Behold! Irvine! The man with the power of a gun! Irvine is pretty great. <laughs> he 
Indeed. Failure is not an option. Our next mission... This is no ordinary mission. It is a direct order from both ba Balm and Galvadia Gardens. We are to assassinate the sorceress. I mean, you know, assassinating state officials. As you do. Uh, we're to shoot her from afar. Kinese will be our sharpshooter. We are to support Kinese to our fullest. Should the sniper fail, we are to attack head on. Thank you for the support, but I never missed in my. You know, that's not gonna work. I'll need to work on it. Like, I feel like. Irvine should have, like, a southern drawl. Like, just like a. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. It's an. Suffice it to say, he should have an accent which I am not accustomed to. <laughs> Doing. I mean, all of my accents are pretty bad, let's be honest here, but some are more bad than others. Some are at least recognizable. <laughs> uh, there, we will meet up with General Caraway to go over the details of the plan. Caraway? That name sounds familiar. Well then. We need to choose a party for the trip to Delling City. <laughs> like I said, Irvine is fantastic. Uh, no. I will take Irvine, actually. Because he is awesome. Uh, you will need that and... Renola's Junction, I think. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Renoa has by far the best magic stat in the game. With Junctioning, that is not super important, but it's worth mentioning. Excellent choice, Mr. Leader. I'm pretty sure he actually complains if he set up a party where he is all men. <laughs> but... No. I know- Stop tutorializing me! Who do you think you are, Squall? Quistus? Uh, okay. Uh, let's just make sure... Okay, good. And... I didn't show this before. I'm about halfway to have it- Well, a little over halfway to have Mug now. Uh, and I have a whole bunch of these now. Including card mod. So much useful stuff in here. Like, so much. Oh, hey, Coral Fragment. I wonder if there are any... Uh... Hmm. I don't remember which ones teach Quist as Limit Breaks. Uh... Oh, well. Uh, that's actually really useful. Windmills refine into... A very useful spell. Hmm. Oh yeah, steel pipe. There. Well, we'll be looking at that again when we're in the, a position to upgrade our equipment. Um, in the meantime, I... 30 minutes? Yeah, I'm done for this episode. So, join me next time when we head to Galvadia via train. Because, you know, as you do. Uh... So yeah, until next time, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII, and have a great day. Bye!